Tis the season to shine with H&M. Discover the holiday collection and find fashionable pieces for your wardrobe or for under the tree. Get inspired and dazzle with this year's glam. From tuxedo styles, bow detailed pieces, impressive prints, and more. From unforgettable looks to unforgettable gifts. With fashion finds to home decor, find it all at H&M. Treat your loved ones and yourself this season. Shop in-store or at hm.com. Bienvenidas al podcast Dos Bold Latinas. Aquí están sus hosts, Jat Nabreu y Josibel Madera Vialet, dos latinas feministas born en Santo Domingo y en New York. Passionate about Latina empowerment, Spanglish, learning, growth, and so much more. Hola, mujeres. We wanted to have a conversation in this episode about Valentine's Day and self-love. We know that Valentine's Day ya pasó. It was last week. But we know that it's still somehow, for some reason, for some reason, it's still out there. Like we see, I see a lot of posts on Instagram still about Valentine's Day. del corazón y todavía el mes del amor. Exacto. So mucha gente todavía, for what I've seen... On um, social media, people are still celebrating Valentine's Day. I think even this weekend. Yeah, some people had Valentine's party this weekend. Exactly. So, <laughs> básicamente queremos hablar de la presión y las expectativas que tenemos de nuest que, que tenemos, verdad, de que nuestras parejas tienen que expresar cómo se sienten por nosotras mediante comprarnos regalos y detalles. And the truth is that not all men are like that. And we have to focus more about loving ourselves more than expecting it from someone else. And so we want to talk about that today. Yes, you all know me. De que <laughs> I've had to take that pressure off my husband. Porque te voy a hacer la pregunta a ti. A ti, ¿qué te regalaron para Valentine's Day? Porque yo sé que a mí, a mí ni me regalaron. Ni se acordaban que era Valentine's Day. So... For those that could relate, you're not the only one. Pero Dios siempre sabe a quién ponerte en tu vida para que no sientas ese vacío because my sweet son did give me flowers for Aww, Valentine's Day. That's so sweet. <laughs> Even though he, you know, bought them with me. He's like, Mom, I wanted to surprise you, pero I want to give you these flowers. So that was, you know, the that's sweet so gesture. so sweet, there. yes. Um, yeah, for me, um, I don't, I do get like, usually like from my husband, flowers and like maybe chocolates which i wasn't really expecting this year because of i don't know we've been so busy with life and like again nadie se acuerda de eso sometimes i even i honestly forgot like for my parents team for their store like last time yo hice like i got conchitas and to be honest i didn't even get john anything either como que it just came so fast um it did, i got it conchitas did. and like Corazoncito style and ito eso y te año. I was like, I felt so bad. I would, I would be like, Ay, feliz día de amor la amistad. Y yo estaba con la mano vacía. And I felt bad because last year I remembered and, you know, I got stuff for people that are close to me. And this year, I honestly did just. I think it's just the, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, everyone's like, it just happened, like you said, happened so fast. Pero no, I was surprised this year again. I. Ex I wasn't expecting it, but when I got home, I wasn't home that day, but I got home in like, habían flores en la mesa, um, amarillas, which obviously it wasn't him who picked them. I'm sure it was Jebediah. Um, Because, <laughs> I mean, that's not, he knows that. That's, that's not color. my <laughs> At least they were roses, and I love roses, pero no eran el color que a mí me gustan. But whatever. For, nonetheless, it was very sweet, porque Jebediah las eligió. And then also me compraron chocolates, which, again, was really nice because I wasn't really expecting it. Because, again, well, I feel like que el, el próximo topic that we wanted to talk about, kind of like in this conversation, de que, I don't know, like we shouldn't be expecting that from our partners. Like I know a lot of women put that pressure mm -hmm. on their partners that like, oh, que tú me vas a comprar? Or like, oh, I, per I bought you this. So what are you going to, you know, kind of mm -hmm. like if you tell that to them, now they're like expected to like, shoot, like I have to oh, buy okay. her. Oh, todos los años ha, tiene que superar lo que era el año pasado. <laughs> Exactamente. <laughs> and I just feel like, I don't know, that's a lot of pressure. And I feel like tú no necesitas demostrarle a alguien que tú lo amas, like, 
buying them something for Valentine's Day. Like, I feel like it's more important for you to show someone else that you love them through, you know, like everyday the, their love actions. language. Exactly. And like everyday and, actions. Not yeah. espera que venga una fecha to show yes. them that, oh, and I love you. And another thing I want to mention to this conversation, com- 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 eh, Jana, is that I've, I text him like, and the pressure of social media. Exacto, porque en social media there's this like I don't know the notion that like you have to post you know whatever it is that like you are doing mm-hmm. for that day or you know whether you're at a restaurant at a fancy restaurant eating dinner or um que te compraron esto te te mandaron flores so people like to like um take pictures about it which I'm not gonna lie I did the what I got them both uh, Ajevedaya mm-hmm. y Alessandel um. I like from this website there's like a lo- it's a local business basically mm-hmm. and they have like those like chocolate uh, strawberry chocolate yeah. covered chocolate whatever oh, yeah I did see you post right that. Um, I, I thought you got that for that. no you so got I got that, that from, <laughs> for them so I got that for them and because I, that's just again mm-hmm. that's just who I am and I wanted Jan, to get them you something. guys her love language is gifts okay guys yes <laughs> so I love and I love gifting people things right like whatever reminds me of them like mm-hmm. I just nothing, no tengo que para una ocasión. I just and I think we talked about this in yes. one of Like I don't mm-hmm. have to wait for an occasion to buy someone something if I'm if si tan en mi mente. You know what I mean? And I always do that for them. Like ya esto una um, for us, it's kind of like a tradition where I get them, you know, a Jebby and little like breaking thing, the you chocolate know. bomb. Yeah, where he like exato or lo rompe or whatever, and there's like a surprise in there. So I just ya es algo que like he mm-hmm. he expecting. knows exactly. He knows that we do it every year, so like I I got that for for them, but I wasn't expecting anything in return. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. It was just I don't know. It's sorprendida when I got home and it was yeah. here, you know. Aww. So that was nice. But to uh, know we say this to just to tell you guys that. If you don't really, even if you don't have a partner or whatever, like they didn't give you something, like don't feel like you have to pressure your partner to do so, right? And I feel like it's more important for us to love ourselves than mm-hmm. having to expect from someone else to like to demonstrate to us that like they love us. Yeah, because I'm I'm sitting here thinking, don't say, what do you do if you do want something for Valentine's Day? I think you speak up and you yes. do tell your partner, maybe not necessarily like ya que viene Valentine's Day, right? Mm-hmm. Because that's kind of bella to mm-hmm. <laughs> to out there. But maybe to let that hints, right? Like before, months before, like, hey, you know, like I've been looking at this and I, you know, and I like this or whatever. Ya todo se lo está poniendo en la mente, basicamente, right? And they yes. know that, oh, something's coming up. Like this, esta fecha is coming up. And so I heard, you know, her say this. So I'm going to get her that. So I think you plant the seed, right? Mm-hmm. Pero si tú no tienes pareja, then what do you do, Rosy? Like, what, how did you even, como la gente se siente como que, Again, social media and like, oh, but I'm alone and I don't have a partner. I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have whatever. Yeah. Then I, so for me this year, I got cute and people in my parents were like, ¿Y tú va? and one of the boys was like, you going on a date? I'm like, no, I mean, today's Valentine's Day and I wanted to feel pretty. And Jana got me these um pretty red earrings and I put on my red lipstick, a, my red pants, a black nice sweater. And, there were, and I, that was my gift to myself. I'm like, I'm going to like, you know, feel extra loved myself today and, um, you know, like, oh, more self-affirmation stuff. And my love language is like doing things for others. So for my kids, I got them, you know, just little chocolates, lo puse en la mesa, and I got balloons and I blew them up and they were, they had like a little heart shape. Y se lo puse ahí. And to me, that was like, okay, that's what made, made me happy for Valentine's Day. And then for me to stop, you know, telling my husband, like, se te olvido, tú no me va a dar, like, ni un abrazo for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I told him, like, the the day I, I was like, I'm going to give, my, I'm going to have him give us something. So, like, two days later, I was like, ah, me ayuda a usar mi tarjeta para pagar spring break. So, here goes the Valentine's gift that I want you to give me. He's like, oh, ¿y cuánto cuesta eso? Ese regalo. But I have learned that with him, he's not going to take the initiative, um, and it has taken me, what, 10 years to learn that okay, he's not going to have the initiative to um, say, here, here's that, here's this, here's that. So it's me letting him know what I want and then just, you know, finding whatever makes you happy. So for Valentine's Day, it, it, this at the miss, I have learned more of like, how about we stop putting the pressure I see of others and you loving yourself? And for me, it was like, oh, how about, you know, you like write yourself a love letter and start 
writing down what is it that you um think that makes you who you are like so all of these all of these practices porque nosotros a veces estamos like ex, like Jana was saying expecting 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 but then what are, what are we pouring into our hearts what are we pouring onto ourselves to really um set that example so um I would say I gave my my family that day the gift of me being happy because that is something like if your fam tú sabes you as a woman especially as Latinas we have that pressure like si la mujer la casa está aquí ya entonces <laughs> todo el mundo básicamente it's gonna yeah it's not gonna be a happy day like my daughter is, is always like mommy you happy ella se da cuenta if I'm not happy she's like mommy you happy <laughs> that's crazy see the kids they know I mean they know how you're so, feeling and they look at you and and when they see you they just feel that like oh something's wrong with my mom right like yeah and uh, and i like that what you said about again the self-love portion where you were like well you know what like i'm still wasn't expecting anything from your husband but you were like you know what i'm still gonna get cute for myself yes and go out there and feel <laughs> you know like I'm going to go con toda mi confidencia or my confidence <laughs> and I'm going to feel like I'm taking on the world and yeah. I'm going to look cute while doing that. So that's what made you feel happy. And that's yes. what, and, and I feel like that's part of loving yourself, right? Mm -hmm. So doing those type of things where you take care of you and do the things that you love doing. So like if you don't have a partner or you're expecting someone from a partner that you, they might not get you anything, right? Mm -hmm. Just do that yourself like just take it up on yourself to to take care of yourself to to love yourself and do the things that um even with the pressure online just do the things that make you feel happy so como rosy dijo like even doing that dressing up looking cute for yourself right because mm -hmm. that made you happy or you know just going out and it's lo mismo que self care to be honest like mm -hmm. just going out Voy ahí, me hace mani petty because, you know, loving myself. Like, I want to look good and I want to take care of my body and I want my nose to look cute, my toes to look cute, right? Like, things like that. Oh, I'm going to go do my lashes. I'm going to go get my hair done. I'm going to go do a, una yoga class, this, you know, because it's going to help me energize y todo eso. Like, anything. It could be anything, but at least, like, taking that time to love yourself and take care of yourself is, like, the most important thing and not expecting it from someone else. <laughs> it's what, like, I, you know, like, my main... <laughs> yes. Kind of like what I want to <laughs> advise, you know, my main advice for everybody. Like, don't expect someone else to give you the stuff that you can give yourself, basically. Yes, for sure. E, like, the whole social media thing, like, I want to touch a little bit more on that because, to be honest, it does make me feel bad. I'm like, I'm not normal. This is not right. And then I have family members. ¿Y qué te regalado? ¿Y qué tú vas a hacer hoy? Like, that entire day. And I'm like, I, it's like, do I really have to explain myself? Because I'm sure that you feel the pressure. Like, everyone on my social media is posting and I have nothing to post. Or sometimes, you know, there's people that don't like to post. Mm -hmm. And... And still Pero, do something, right? Yeah, and and the, and the thing is that I have I've have learned como que just ignore it if it starts to trigger you. Porque at the end of the day, do you even know? Probably they had a huge ass fight before they posted that, <laughs> that picture. That is true. That is true. <laughs> you are not wrong. Y además, la gente tiene que acordarse que no todo lo que se ve en social media es real. Like, it is really not real. La gente, la gente solamente postea lo bueno de su vida. Yes. Nadie está posteando que cuando estaba llorando ahorita en el carro, cuando su esposo le dijo this and that, and they didn't like that. Nadie postea nada de eso. Cuando tú estás going through something in your personal life, like a loss or whatever it may be, nobody shares that. Pero you best believe que te van a estar posteando todos los viajes que están haciendo. Mm -hmm. Right? Like the dinners yeah. that they're going to, the the parties that they're, you know, the, with their friends, the nice times with their family, pero nunca van a, a, a share, remember that. And we all go through through personal things and, and hard things and nobody's going to post us. So just, yes. just remember that. And and the last thing, um, Jana, it's going to find you by surprise, pero, eh, you know, we all, as, as women, I have learned, there was this, this well, you saw the post, Jana, on Facebook, de que we have to start seeing ourselves more of um, how God sees us to learn to love ourselves. So for us Latinas, if you listen to Fajaruco. Oh, yeah. Yes. Let's talk about that because I don't know. 
Well, I barely share anything on Facebook, but John, I saw you you put a little heart on it. So yeah, I'll that was. To- I don't know. I just thought that was interesting, and and the fact that I had heard that, yeah, that about him that he he just. So it took his life like a 360, right? Like he yes. no longer something happened to him that he felt empty. I honestly probably believe you know you know, and I started to watch a little bit. I had time to do this because I was on my Chicago trip for work. So <laughs> when I would be in the hotel with no kids, I was scrolling. I'm like, oh, like this happened to Fahduko, and El- now he's talking about El- you know, like of how. El amor de Dios and everything. But I wanted to, what I listened to his song now, it's called Incompleto. And it was talking about like, you know, God loves you. And, and it made me reflect upon, I always thought of like, well, how come I didn't love, love learn to love myself sooner in my life? I would be myself up to, for that bit of something I do um, thank God for is that I learned to love God in the very early stage of my life. And um. I would say I always knew about God this and that, but it was more when I met my boy, my husband at that time, you know, 15 years ago, that was when I got closer to God and started to understand like more of the fear of God. And I honestly believe that the things I have been able to maneuver in my life and, and who I am, my personality, the type of heart that I have, the it's way I see people is because, because of- I honestly believe that I have God in my heart because mm-hmm. if not, I could have been a hot mess with the the type of decision I have made in my life and for things that have um, happened in my life. And even learning to see my husband, like what if you, you know, we start to see our, our, that other person through the eyes of God, like what is that person really offering to you in your life? And like maybe also, it's not what you are expecting of right. them because we, we know this, right? That we are all, with someone expecting something yeah. or if some of us like me originally when i first met my husband in high school mm-hmm. i was expecting that he would change that i would <laughs> fix him to mold him to whatever i wanted him to yeah. be but quickly i learned that no like yeah he changed certain things for me right because we grew but not because i wanted him to change those things but because we grew up together Mm -hmm. since the time when we were together since we were 16 years old right yeah so no porque él lo quiso cambiar but because he we you know he learned like in our relationship we both learned that there are something certain things we needed to change to be able to become right like a, a like a have a good relationship, right? Mm-hmm. And they have a good marriage, basically. Pero hay muchas de nosotras que siempre, like, is expecting something, right? Like, right. why don't you just, like, yeah, we get it. It may not be what you want it. Pero al final del día, you know, that's the person you chose. And maybe that's the person that, I don't know, God maybe wanted you to stay with. Because yeah. si tú tienes 10 años casado con esta <laughs> gente, I mean, God had to have He helped. had some plan there. Because now before I would be like, oh, God, how come I can this be like that? And now I, I pray, God, help me be the wife that he needs. And that's and that's um, that also something there. But anyways, I feel like I'm going in circles, John. Get me back on track. But the whole Fahaduko thing I want to mention is like in this month of love, let's not forget about the love um, of this whole self-love to start seeing yourself more of how God sees you through those lens, because it really does make a difference because God doesn't no te dice que tú estás fea, que tú estás gorda, que he doesn't see you that way. He, and he, he believes in you. And also um, with the self, com- the self-love comes to confidence. Like I had mentioned in another episode of Jana gave me the book called Confident Woman by Joyce, jo- Joyce Mayer. And it is all about, you know, related to um, the book, the Bible. So it's like, she made me realize like, the confidence that you have, God is, has given it to you. And everything that you do, he's the one that's helping you do that. So, and I just want you to reflect upon that. And I just feel that, I don't know, like with so many things happening in the world, I want to bring up Fahduko because I love the way he's utilizing him to speak of him for us to reflect on him. Because I honestly reflected with that song. I was like, wow, like I love of him feeling incomplete. And I feel so blessed that even more complete and happier that I would be myself up like, oh, I didn't love myself as as I should have been back then. But I had his um, I had him in my heart and, you know, still do. So that's 
just wanted to add a little component of the self love, and I just feel Jana that we can yeah, all no. relate to that little um the thing that's happening with um Fahduko because it just happened like what Recently. like two weeks ago yeah. I don't know <laughs> some yeah, that... at some concert in Miami and if that doesn't <laughs> I don't know like if that doesn't show you that. We don't want to turn this into like a religious yeah. thing, honestly, because yeah. we know that, I mean, it's, it is what it is, right? Like whoever you believe in, right? there is a higher force out there, whatever, whoever you believe in, we, for us, like we believe mm -hmm. in God, right? So mm -hmm. we're talking about God right now, but it comes to show you that there is a higher power out there, yes. right? And that people like that, I mean, if he changed and he's someone that so many people like looked up to and like listened to his song like his del mundo right like mm -hmm. la todos los reggaeton y todas esas cosas yeah. and out of nowhere he just un 360 where he was like you know what I'm not gonna do this anymore like mm -hmm. I just wanna I believe now I wanna like entregarme al señor and I just wanna do like you know lo que like lo que él me llamó my calling yeah. right that this is the time where God le dijo like Nope, this is what you're gonna do now. So if that doesn't show you that there is a higher power out there mm -hmm. that literally like it's helping us and like trying to mold us to what he wants us to be, yes. then I don't know. I don't know what when we're what. talking about love and self love, it's like uh epodai que uno comienza. So there you have it, ladies. Let's wrap it up with this. So I the thing that I want you to take away is Go, you do sabe que I'm always gonna give you something to do, ladies. And I It's, love it. <laughs> I want you to take some time this week to write down a love letter to yourself. Honestly, do write down what is it that makes you who you are and why you love that. So take a one thing that you that 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 you like about yourself, but also write down next to it why. Like, oh, for me, I like that I have a tender heart. Because sometimes we feel that our weakness. It's bad, but we need to learn to turn that weakness to a strength. So I would think like, oh, que yo soy muy, too emotional. But what I love about myself is that I, I, have, I have a different view in people. And I feel like I touch people's hearts differently. So I have turned to see that thing that I thought was bad about myself to actually learn to love that by myself. So I las dejo con eso. Amense más. Y ya saben que eres bella y eres poderosa. Hasta la próxima. Chao. Chao.